Tonight, three people are dead after a Minnesota National Guard helicopter goes down in central Minnesota. And most of the snow has been cleared from streets, but headaches remain on the sidewalks, especially for those with disabilities. And later, we have a recap of high school hockey games from all around the region for the first week of Thursday Night Faceoff. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. Kristen is on assignment tonight. A tragic scene this evening after search crews located the wreckage of a downed National Guard Black Hawk helicopter. It was supposed to be a routine maintenance test flight this afternoon, but ended with three lives lost. The helicopter took off from the St. Cloud Airport just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. The wreckage was found southwest of there near the town of Kimball. CBS 3's Jenna Wells has more on the newly released details tonight of the crash had this to say in a news conference this evening. On behalf of all Minnesotans, we offer our deepest sympathies to the families of these warriors. They paid the ultimate price in service to Minnesota and to the United States of America. The identities of the three victims have not been released, but will be once their families are notified. It's still unclear what happened. Investigators from the Army Safety Center out of Fort Rutgers in Alabama are expected to arrive on Friday to begin investigating the cause of the crash. And that call came in at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. About nine minutes after takeoff, contact was shortly lost. That's when a May Day call was initiated. Weather now with meteorologist Alex Libby. Alex, uh, pretty calm night out there tonight. Yeah, it is calming down. Clouds are clearing out, and that will allow temperatures to drop this, uh, this evening into tomorrow morning. Looking at the current conditions, we can see we have temperatures around 28 degrees. Kind of hold, it held constant since around 6 o'clock. We do have some clouds over the area right now with a northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. Taking a look at the radar, this goes back all the way through six hours. You can see some of that snow that was giving us flurries here in Duluth has moved to the east and looking to our west not much in the way of weather makers going to affect our weather for the next couple days at least there is a small clipper system for tomorrow night and that's why we have increasing clouds tomorrow we start off clear and then we become mostly cloudy in the highs only around 20 degrees for your friday all right thanks alex well the snow isn't just creating an obstacle for drivers on the road it's also causing problems for people who have already have challenges getting around and for people with disabilities or physical limitations snow a snow covered sidewalk sometimes forces them to make a hard choice stay home or risk getting hurt cbs 3's emma quinn brings us the details most of the roads have been plowed but people around duluth are still digging out that includes Clifford Hustle, who tackled his sidewalks Thursday. Thank you, everybody, for having a good challenge this winter. We had a lot of snowfall. The biggest challenge comes for those with disabilities. Advocates say people with physical limitations have more barriers than the average person. It's a shame that somebody who has um, some type of disability has to choose whether, you know, they have to risk their safety to have a social life or if they should just stay home and isolate. You know, it's really not fair. Everything should be accessible. The city has cleared pathways to the sidewalks, but they're often blocked by mountains of snow blocking the curbs. That's where curb cuts come in. Which is a huge thing for somebody that uses a chair or might use some type of walking device. Um, curb cuts are crucial. Um, and since the ADA passed, it is something that cities need to make sure that they are putting out. Advocates say the city has been working on the problem, but it comes up every year. It's still an issue, unfortunately. You know, we are four days after the snowstorm and we still have barriers. Good neighbors like Hustle do what they can. After finishing his sidewalks, he'll move on to his disabled neighbors. I just take my snow blower and a shovel and shovel it out and chip it out and blow it away. We take care of them, though. Neighbors take care of neighbors. So who is responsible for shoveling those sidewalks? According to city officials, all property owners are responsible to clear their adjoining sidewalks within 24 hours of a snowstorm. The city has a number of sidewalks that they are also responsible for clearing. Clearing sidewalks after this storm has been exceedingly difficult. Uh, we're asking folks to do their best to help their neighbors um, and understanding that um, Everyone depends uh, on property owners to clear sidewalks. 
There are ways to report sidewalks that have not been shoveled, as well as options for people with disabilities to get assistance with snow removal on their sidewalks. We'll have that information on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Duluth's chief administrative officer echoed concerns about the city's recent snow removal effort at tonight's council meeting. Noah Shuckman was at the meeting to talk about the city's response to last weekend's blizzard and to hear questions from council members. The council is considering rolling out a new snow emergency plan for next week at winter right now, but they didn't make any concrete plans to improve snow removal at tonight's meeting. Mayor Larson and administration are talking about strategy and different ways to get to folks. Um, nothing's rolled out yet, but I know that we've had a plan that we put in place already and it, the storm came ahead of the plan, so we were kind of left chasing the plan. The council hopes to discuss updates to the snow plan and any necessary changes to the snow emergency budget in the coming weeks. The council also discussed a request for emergency funding from Spirit Mountain, which is facing a budget shortfall after the storm forced Snowcross to cancel. And roads are still icy in spots, and here's the proof. A big bus turned sideways, blocking almost all lanes of traffic on Railroad Street in front of the deck. This is what it looked like there around 9.15 tonight. It's not exactly clear what happened. The stuck bus, was forced, uh, the stuck bus forced traffic to be rerouted, although some people squeezed past on the shoulder. Meanwhile, Minnesota Power customers will see an increase on their bills starting in the new year. The Minnesota Public Utilities Commission today approved an interim rate of 5.8% for all customers. That amounts to about an extra $4.50 a month on your bill. In a November filing, the power company said the increase was necessary to continue delivering safe, reliable energy from cleaner energy sources. A final rate request is still pending. A Duluth man will spend six and a half years in prison after killing a motorcyclist in a hit and run. 30-year-old Stanley Brown pleaded guilty to killing Peter Seppinen. Today, Seppinen's family says his death is a great loss for their family. The crash happened back in May. Brown hit Seppinen while he was on his motorcycle six months ago. It happened at Horseshoe Bend near 40th Avenue West in Duluth. Brown originally drove away, but police later found him. Authorities say Brown failed several sobriety tests and refused to take a breath test. The judge had this to say today. You made some very bad decisions on May 28th. And as a result of those decisions, someone died. Those, the, the consequences of your decisions are just so horrific that I have no words for them. Brown did not say anything during his sentencing this afternoon. He pleaded not guilty, but changed his plea to guilty in October. Visitation for a respected local bishop will continue tomorrow before he's laid to rest. A bishop of, Duluth, of the Duluth Diocese, Paul Serba, passed away earlier this week. His visitation started today and continues tomorrow at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Rosary. Visitation starts at 8 a.m. His funeral mass is at 11 a.m. Following the ceremony, he'll be laid to rest at Calvary Cemetery in Duluth. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi gave the go-ahead for the House Judiciary Committee to begin drafting articles of impeachment against President Trump. CBS News correspondent Natalie Brandt has more from Capitol Hill. The impeachment case against President Trump accelerated on Thursday. Today, I am asking our chairman to proceed with articles of impeachment. In her announcement, Speaker Nancy Pelosi argued the facts are uncontested that the president withheld military aid to Ukraine for his own personal gain against his political rival. The president has engaged in abuse of power, undermining our national security and jeopardizing the integrity of our elections. The House Judiciary Committee could begin drafting articles of impeachment as soon as next week. That sets the stage for a possible full House vote before Christmas. President Trump says he's not concerned about impeachment staining his legacy. No, not at all. No, not at all. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a big fat hoax. When asked after a news conference if she hates President Trump, the speaker stormed back to the microphone. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. Members of the Judiciary Committee will be working through the weekend ahead of their next hearing on Monday, which will focus on the Intelligence Committee's findings. On the campaign trail in Iowa, former Vice President Joe Biden lashed out when a man brought up his son Hunter's work for a Ukrainian energy company. You're selling access to the president just like he was. 
You're a damn liar, man. That's not true. We want Biden. President Trump has threatened to have the Bidens testify during a possible Senate impeachment trial, something Biden has said he would not do voluntarily. Still to come on Live Local CBS3, learning from the best will take you to a Duluth basketball camp that teaches kids the ins and outs of the game. And with all the snow we had this weekend, it's nice that we've had some clear days to clean that snow off, and tomorrow will be another one. No more snow in the forecast for tomorrow, but cooler temperatures. All, all the details. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Hey. Ready for a great deal? You know it. With savings on Camry, RAV4, Highlander, and more, it really is the most magical time of the year. Can you pretend you didn't see this? But I'm seeing it. Right now, during Toyota Thon, you can get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a spacious new 2019 Toyota Highlander. You never know what you'll find at Toyota Thon. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Warm up your home at Slumberland's after Thanksgiving sale, but hurry, it ends Saturday. Get this beautiful sofa with two accent pillows for just $3.98. Most items can be in your home in one week. The after Thanksgiving sale ends Saturday at Slumberland Furniture. And you wonder why you're so tired every night. The best price in town is at Slumberland. Like right now, get this incredibly comfy Sealy Posturepedic Queen mattress for just $3.94. The Thanksgiving mattress sale at Slumberland Furniture. On the economy, a unique leader, Mike Bloomberg's created over 400,000 jobs. As president, an opportunity economy that works for us. Tax fairness, where the wealthy pay their fair share. Education, affordable college and high-skill vocational training so people can succeed in the new economy. Economic security, lower-cost health care, and affordable middle-class housing. Proven leadership on jobs to build an economy where people don't just get by, they get ahead. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Get ready to win 5,000 big ones at Fleet Farm in our Big Bucks giveaway. When you buy anything online and pick it up in-store, you'll be entered to win $5,000 to spend on anything throughout the store. Just shop online at fleetfarm.com and pick it up at customer service. So, whether you're picking up weekly necessities or finding the perfect gift, Fleet Farm has you covered. It's easier than ever to get your shopping done fast. Just click it, we'll pick it, and you could win big. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. It's a holiday hoop vlog now through December 25th at Fond du Casino. Every Wednesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., including Christmas Day, 25 names will be randomly drawn to play for holiday cash and prizes. You could jump into the money booth, play the disco board, or take a spin on the big prize wheel. Stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaloupeCasino.com for all the participation details. Wednesdays and Thursdays, come in for the games, cash, and prizes at the holiday hoop and have a great time out at Fond du Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. A meteorologist, Alex, will be in for Dave. He is off this week. Caitlin will be in tomorrow. Other than the live show at Bentleyville, Dave will be at that one. Looking at the current temperatures, we have 28 degrees in Duluth, Grand Marais at 19. Seeing some cooler temperatures uh, to the north of us and also places to the west, Grand Forks, North Dakota, sitting at 18 degrees currently. Taking a look at a little bit more zoomed in temperatures, we have Cooler temperatures in Orr at 19, Inter International Falls at 20 degrees. We're staying a little bit warmer near the lake, two harbors in Duluth, again, near 30 degrees. Take a look at the forecast for the next few days. We can see we have a low pressure system that has moved away and that is giving away to some sunny skies for tomorrow. This is 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, seeing some sun in the forecast, but that won't last long as we have some clouds making their way in for s around midnight into Saturday morning. Really weak. Uh, Alberta Clipper making its way through Saturday early morning. That will be bringing us just a little bit of snow for then. Saturday afternoon, we're seeing some clouds ahead of another low pressure system. The thing about this one, it will stay to our north, but it will drag a, a cold front through the area, bringing some cold air for Sunday night. You can see this is Sunday at 8 p.m., bringing that cold front through for Monday. Monday, we're going to have colder air, highs around 10 degrees and the chance for some snow. This is one model showing some measurable snow for Monday. A couple other ones have the low located just around a little bit further to the south, and that's bringing us just really light snow. So either way on Monday, we'll be seeing some snow, but the amounts, it's too far away to, to figure out that now. But prepare for some snow on Monday, and definitely prepare for some colder temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, cold air coming down from the north, 
behind that low pressure system and that will be influence our weather all the way through Wednesday and Thursday looks like another cold day as well. Lake effect snow again will be a possibility with that cold air coming through on Monday evening. Saturday at 9 a.m. this is how much snow we'll see from that clipper system I showed you for uh, Friday night into Monday, uh, Saturday morning, excuse me, 1.3 inches in Hibbing, 1.1 in Big Fork. I think uh, less, less than an inch is likely for a lot of locations. Again, north of Duluth, like the system we've had today, will get the, the bigger amounts, but it won't be a much, and it really won't affect travel for your Saturday morning. Forecast for tonight, 10 degrees on the hill, 13 by the lake. One degree is only one degree in International Falls. So it's getting chilly tonight. A little bit warmer in Wisconsin. Temperatures around 10 degrees. Highs for tomorrow will be 10 degrees cooler than today in the low 20s. 19 degrees for a high in Superior. Here in Duluth, 20 for a high. 20s is a pretty uh, popular number for tomorrow. In Upper Teens, possible Silver Bay in Ely. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we can see we have the weekend a little bit warmer than Friday. And then Monday's that, that day that we'll be watching with that bigger system. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, downright brutally cold for uh, this time of year. Yeah, negatives in there, huh? Yeah, negative 15. Not ready for uh, that. Wednesday morning. Waking up. Is anyone ever ready for 15 below, though? I don't think so. I'm excited for it. All right, well, <laughs> more power to you. Thanks, Alex. The Iron Mining Association of Minnesota hosted its annual dinner tonight in Tower, Minnesota. Representing eight iron ore mines and 150 vendors, the IMA promotes the state's iron ore industry. Minnesota's iron mines directly contribute nearly $2 billion to the economy of Minnesota every year. Tonight's event at the Fortune Bay Casino included an update for members of the IMA, dinners, and a program. And hey, the keynote speaker for that event, our very own Kristen Vaki. That's why she wasn't here tonight. Well, the future of basketball star, the future basketball stars had a chance to learn some skills from Denfeld's best tonight. Kids with the All-Rookie Basketball Association from across the Twin Ports had a special practice with the Duluth Denfeld boys basketball team. The association is a citywide entry-level basketball program for boys and girls in grades K through 8. Tonight's event allows youth players to interact and learn from experienced players. The high school players and coaches say it's a lot of fun and teaches the kids to dream big. These kids come out, you know, we have them around these stations and they interact with us and they do some drills. And it's really good for them because they look up to us. Practicing and doing stuff like dribbling and guarding and shooting. The association currently has over 500 boys and girls participating and is led by 90 volunteer coaches. Kelly's here for sports. You don't want to talk basketball tonight, do you? I, well, well I'm pretty I, sure you tonight. do. Yeah. I would always love to talk basketball. Yeah. That wasn't a good way to set me I'm up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess what night it is, Tony? Uh, it's Thursday night. Do you know what that means? It means it's Thursday night face-off. It's Thursday night face-off. <laughs> we got high school hockey from all around the Northland coming up next. CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Toyota. New state-of-the-art dealership, same President's Award-winning service, KohlerToyota.com. Welcome to Medical Insight, a weekly health care feature brought to you by the experts at Essentia Health. Here's your host, Louis St. George. Today on Medical Insight, Essentia Health licensed acupuncturist Jake Sweetie discusses how acupuncture aligns with integrative health care. So acupuncture is a component of traditional East Asian medicine. That's a growing part of modern integrative health care that includes not just needling therapy, which acupuncture is, but also traditional herbalism and dietetics, physical manipulation similar to osteopathy, as well as uh, body and breath-based exercises. In general, these needles are quite small. Um, they're placed all over the body from head to toe. They cause very little pain in general. They're typically placed at depths that are quite comfortable. We stimulate different nerves throughout the body and different areas that influence physiological activity, circulatory activity, neural activity, lymphatic activity, and hormonal activity as well. While acupuncture is most commonly associated with pain management, there are a number of conditions that can benefit from the treatment. We also use acupuncture for women's health issues like menopausal issues in difficult or painful periods. We use it for cancer support, like treating nausea and malaise. 
And we also use it for treating anxiety, depression, and stress. One of the biggest confusions patients have when they receive their referral is they expect just needles to be used, when in fact we may be doing physical manipulations on the body. We may be talking about lifestyle changes that they need to make in order to help resolve or at least manage their conditions. So what we're really trying to do is help people find balance and more ease in their lives. Anybody who's struggling with any sort of health issue, they should give us a call, you know, schedule an appointment, and we can decide if that's something that may be helpful for them. For Medical Insight, I'm Louis St. George. To learn more about this and other health topics, visit EssentiaHealth.org slash Medical Insight. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. It's Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. Visit truenorthchevydealers.com. Melt the cold winter with hot gear from Duluth Lawn and Sports. If you turn on our newscast, you're almost guaranteed to not see any national news. We're going to give you 30 minutes of news that's happening in the Northland. Watch Anthony Mack weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. to Thursday night face-off, your one-stop shop for high school hockey in the Northland. I am your host, Kelly Hinseth. We're here once again, and we're not going to waste any time tonight. Let us get straight to the action. Our top matchup tonight, boy, oh, boy, boy was it a good one. In Cloquet, the Lumberjacks hosting the undefeated Duluth Denfeld. A few minutes into this one, Hunters strike first as Connor McClure to Cole Olsen. Olsen chips it in right in front past Jacob Walsh. Denville takes a 1-0 lead. CEC quickly responds. Aaron Moore with the handiwork drives past the net, flips in the puck while he's at it, and that ties it up. Lumberjacks threatening again. This time, it's Cole Kettle off the rebound, flips it past Sean Eastie, and it's 2-1 Cloquet. CEC not letting up. Christian Galatz makes this one look way too easy. I still quite can't figure out how he got the puck actually in the net. That makes it... 3-1, to one, Cloquet, Esco, Carlton. But Hunters with an answer as the clock winds down. Cooper McClure gets laid out, but in comes Cade Shea to save the day. That's how we drew it up, right, boys? Hunters cut the lead to one. CEC edges this one out, though. 5-4, to four, the final score. Across the Blotnick Bridge, Proctor taking on Superior. Not even a minute in. Gunnar Hansen to TJ Siddick. Pot loose in front. Hansen does the dirty work. It's one nothing. Spartans just two minutes after that. Jackson Dara drops the hammer. What a hit in the neutral zone. And Ethan Welch does the rest. Tucks it home up top. It's 2 nothing. Less than three minutes into this one. But some penalties get the rails right back in it. Connor Pavlak. Hits Isaac Mosher in the middle, middle rather. He hits this mark, tied 2-2 after one. In the second, Drew Shardy gets some space, and Sick is there to finish the rebound. The Spartans go on to win it 6-4 to four the final. They are 2-2 two and two on the season. In some other scores on the night, Duluth East getting their first win of the season over Bemidji. Jack Fellman with two goals for the Hounds. We'll have more from them in just a little bit. North Shore gets the 7-0 shutout over Moose Lake. Stick around. We've still got plenty more to come next. Some girls action to get to. We head to the range and Duluth Marshall. You're watching Thursday Night Faceoff on CBS3. Thursday Night Face-Off is brought to you by Essentia Health. Now at Home Sleep Express, get zero interest financing on any Tempur-Pedic for six years. Plus, Home will give you a $300 shopping card, free delivery, setup, and a 120-day comfort guarantee. Zero interest financing on Tempur-Pedic for six years at Home Sleep Express. Feel your devices come alive. Speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig. Stunning streaming video. Unbeatable power. Wi-Fi on blast. 
99.9% network reliability. 100% incredible. Switch to Extreme Internet 100 today for $34.99 a month for one year. Call 844-EXTREME2. Here's this week's CBS3 Game Day lineup. Brought to you by Kohler Hyundai. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. Snow piles up quickly. Remove it just as quickly with a Kubota BX tractor. With a PTO-powered front-mount snowblower, rotary broom, or snowblade, you can clear a path with ease. No other subcompact offers this kind of power and versatility. All designed to fit in your garage. Get financing as low as 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,000 instant cash rebate. Plus a six-year limited powertrain warranty. See your local Kubota dealer today. No one serves you better than Lula Gentleman. Here, in this place, a game like nowhere else. Where team is everything. Together, we push. We strive. And sometimes, we fall. But here, adversity is an opportunity to make teamwork count when it matters most. Because together, we own this ice. This is orthopedics and sports medicine like nowhere else. A unique leader, Mike Bloomberg's created over 400,000 jobs. As president, an opportunity economy that works for us. Tax fairness, where the wealthy pay their fair share. Education, affordable college and high-skill vocational training so people can succeed in the new economy. Economic security, lower-cost health care, and affordable middle-class housing. Proven leadership on jobs to build an economy where people don't just get by, they get ahead. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Christmas is now open with savings of 50% at Home Seasonal Concepts. Find a great selection of trees, wreaths, garland, and all your holiday decor needs. Save 50% on Christmas at Home Seasonal Concepts. Inside all home furniture showrooms. Welcome back into Thursday Night Faceoff. We're now going to head over to some girls high school hockey action. Big matchup. Up on the range tonight, Cloquet Esco Carlton hoping to extend their win streak, taking on Hibbing Chisholm. Where's Kristen? First period, Jaxie Poglaric is cooking with too much sauce. Get out of that girl's way. CEC takes a 1 0 lead. Less than 20 seconds in the first, Allie Buzzy pokes the puck free and says, I can also do that. Nobody in sight for her equalizes the Blue Jackets into the second, Hibbing Chisholm. Riding that momentum because Alyssa Dury deflects one in front and they take a two to one lead. But CEC had an answer get pucks on net, and this stuff happens. Kiana Bender planted in the right spot and makes the play. The Lumberjacks win it four to two. That is six straight for CEC. Up the hill at Mars Lakeview Arena, Hayward in town to face Duluth Marshall. First period, Hayward threatening Lily Exon. Feeds it to Riley Springer, who flips it toward the net, but it is stopped by Charlie Zapryor. Still in the first, Marshall now going to work. Meredith Betcher takes a shot, but it's stopped. Blair Prell tries to clean it up, but it's still scoreless. Hilltoppers finally strike as Mar and Friday making her way downtown. Skating fast takes a shot, and it's homebound. That kind of works. Not really, but we'll make it work. Toppers take a one nothing lead, and Marshall takes it 3-2, to two, the final score. In other girls hockey scores, North Shore barely edging out superior tonight up in Silver Bay. They win it 4-2-3, the final. Well, stick around. You're watching Thursday Night Face Off. Up next, I got the chance to chat with Duluth East captain Charlie Erickson, one of five total captains for the Greyhounds. That's coming up next. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. May hope brighten your holiday and inspire you in the new year. Happy holidays from Essentia Health. Make it the best holiday ever with the true love guarantee at Numi Jewelers. Dazzle her with a gift she's guaranteed to love. We're so sure she'll love the piece you choose that we'll even exchange it if she doesn't. True love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. 
long. Your top long. salesman is working to close a deal. But his Uncle Larry decided to stop by. Cloud this base. looks like a job for smile power. Good thing your employees have dental insurance backed nationally with Delta Dental. Unleash your smile power. My name is Dan Metcalf. I'm a general surgeon and a colorectal surgeon at Memorial Medical Center. I bring a new set of skills to Ashland, and uh, some of what Ashland would allow me is a culture that is very patient-centered. That's a really important part of, of surgery or medicine in general, is really getting to know the people that you're taking care of. I get the joy of seeing patients every day and, and taking care of people every day and learning about their lives as well as uh, um, fixing them. Amazing deals are going on now during Menard's Christmas Catalog Sale. Keep your vehicle's interior protected from the elements with Armor All All-Season Floor Mats. They can be trimmed to fit any design, $9.99 after rebate. Keep your home, car, and garage clean with this 10-gallon shop vac. With a 5-peak horsepower motor, it can tackle tough messes, wet or dry. Only $54.99. Plus, give the perfect gift this Christmas with a Menards gift card. All seasons greetings to you all from Menards. The Dish Voice Remote just got even more powerful. Why'd we put so much technology in there? You don't think I've watched a lot of football? You want to put a little wager on it? Bet. So you can settle that bet without ever taking your eyes off the game. How many D1 football teams are there? What you do with that power? Oh, it's gotta hurt. Well, that Woo, is right. totally up to you. Don't look so sad, man. Come on, we're having fun. New Dish Voice Remote with the Google Assistant. Dish, tuned in to you. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Wireless charging. 104 cubic feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition. Built for the holidays. During the Ford Built for the Holidays event, get over $10,000 in total savings on an expedition. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Men's Wardrobe by Mainstream Fashions for Men. The annual gift giver sale is going on now through December 31st. Mainstream. Open Sundays noon to 4 until Christmas. Listen to each other. Welcome back into Thursday Night Face-Off. Well, Duluth East getting their first win of the season tonight. A few weeks ago, before the start of the season, I got the chance to chat with senior Charlie Erickson. Erickson is one of five total captains for the Duluth East Greyhounds this season. And we got to talk about this new team, basically. Take a look. When you look at a roster like this, sometimes it can feel like intimidating, knowing that, the, oh, this guy's gone, this guy left. But you guys really seem excited about it. You can't really dwell on the guys that left. I mean, it was a bummer seeing him go, but, you know, we kind of have to move past that and just get ready for our games. I mean, we have what we have, and uh, we just have to work with that. Coach pointed to you as kind of the guy that's going to be, you know, up there. I know you have five captains, but, you know, you're, you've been here the longest. You're the one... How do you take that, and what does that kind of mean to you? It's kind of exciting. I mean, I, you know, it was obviously a bummer seeing some of our other guys leave, but, you know, I put that pressure on me a little bit, and I kind of like it. I don't know. It'll be fun. Like, I still have my our other captains, and everyone, I don't think of myself any better than those guys, but, you know, it's just kind of, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of something that, like, I never really thought would happen, but, you know, now that it's there, it's kind of cool. Five seniors, five captains, that's different. How exciting is that to have five guys wearing a C? It's kind of cool. I mean, it's it's definitely different. I know in the past we've had mainly four captains, but having five, it, it kind of helps with us because we all can kind of like, we have this majority rules thing. So, what, like, if two captains don't want to do something and three do, we're like, all right, majority rules, and we kind of go off base off of that. But it's cool having, like, that amount of leadership on our team this year. Duluth East hockey means something. Do you instill in the guys that we're focusing on us, we're not focusing on the expectations that people might have for us? Is that important? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're kind of an underdog team this year, and I know everyone was pretty excited about that. We came in our practices, and we're like, all right, guys, we obviously we lost some guys. We're not, a, we're not some big team anymore. I mean, as the past, like, two or three years, we've been this really big, like, force, and we don't have those guys this year, but I think everyone is just kind of like excited for that like challenge, that underdog uh, mentality. It's kind of cool. So it's big for Duluth East getting that 6-3 win over Bemidji tonight after starting the season 0-2. But you got to remember, you know, you think Duluth East hockey, you think legacy, you think consistent, always going to the state tournament. Coach Mike Randolph told me that 
this is the newest team that he's ever had. They lost a lot of guys, including Logan Anderson to juniors, Ryder Donovan, who goes off to college playing at Wisconsin. Charlie is kind of the lone remaining guy that's been there for so long. Well, that's going to do it for me and the first Thursday night face-off. Thank you so much for joining in. We'll be back next week. Have a great night.